Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, we're going to talk about bedding. Um, in my um, previous video, my haul video, you guys, I gave you a little sneak peek of my bedding and I also shared a sneak peek of it on Instagram and I always get the question like how do I make my bed to make it look the way it looks. Um, I am in no way an expert at this. This is just what I do um, because bedding A is not cheap and I feel like you need a lot of different components to make your bed look full and fluffy. And so this is just what I have found that what works for me and my budget. Um, so I'm going to share that with you today. So if you haven't already, please hit the little subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And let's get started. Okay, so we're just going to start. Um, in my video a few videos ago, I showed you that I helped my mom with her bedding. And um, I had questions about how I go about doing that. So I thought I would just walk you through it here. Um, I don't have as many components on my bed as she does, um, but I wish I did. But bedding is just so expensive. So you have to kind of buy um, pieces that you can interchange, which I do. This duvet, this, um, this pillow, that you'll see in a second is a duvet cover and I pair that with almost everything um, because I don't want to have to buy a new one every time I want to change the look up of my room so anyway let's just do this um, I always start with sheets obviously um, these sheets come from Target I love the threshold brand at Target um, it's not the nicest quality but it's really good quality for the price. And they come in ador adorable prints or solids. So that is awesome. I have them on pretty much, well, I take that back. I just got my daughter Opal House ones and they are not as soft. So anyway, I start with my sheet, just my flat sheet and I put that down on every bed that I make. Um. And then I, let's just take these off first. So here's what I would do um, for my bed. I would just pull up the sheets. So I have my sheet, a comforter, just a plain white one. And then I have a quilt. And this is from Target too. Um, this is from Downlight Bedding. I love it. It's lightweight, but um, it works really well. This kind of just adds a little bolt to the quilt, so the quilt looks like fluffier, if that makes sense. So you don't need this, um, but this quilt is um, thin, and so I like it to look fluffier. So. Um, on my mom's bed though, we just used a blanket, a waffle knit blanket, instead of this blanket. So when I look at a bed, I like to look, I like to be able to see different patterns and textures. And so what that will do, if you use the, the blanket, you will see the sheet, the blanket, and then the comforter, and then a uh, like a coverlet but in my bed I don't have that right now so I just pull this up pull up my quilt or my comforter and I we just sleep with the comforter and the sheet and then I pull up my quilt and that's how I would leave this for my how I do it for my bedding now, if I was making my mom's bed, um, maybe I could just take you over there and show you. I just want to be able to show you the different textures of that. Maybe I'll do that. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'll finish filming this and then go film my mom's bedding so you can just see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I start with my bed, all, all the blankets pulled up and the sheet. And then I fluff my pillows up and throw these ones in the back. Now here's the thing. 
you can either A, do it like I'm doing, and then I put these here, and then I would put my euros in front. That is what I like with these euros. Or you could put them in the back here, like this. And then put your pillows like this either way I'm on a king size bed you need three euros on a queen size bed and smaller you only need two a euro is a 26 by 26 pillow um, they're just for decorative purposes you do not need any of these pillows you could just have your old pillow and be fine but if you're going for this kind of look you need three um, so then I do that, off that there, and then these are from Ikea, so they're really inexpensive. So here, if you can see, I love the way I can see the pattern sheet, the duvet, my comforter, this, I didn't put the um, matching pillowcases on because I want all the different textures and patterns. Sorry, you can't see me, but um, I'm going to go over to the other side and finish putting the pillows on over there. Put that one right there. And then I just always fluff up my pillows every single day so that they just look full and fluffy. Can you just scoot over just a tad bit? But for the sake of the video, you get what I mean. And then I'm just going to have um, two 20 by 20 pillows. I just got these at Home Goods. Um, this is where you could add your pop of color or design or something else. Because if you can tell, everything is pretty neutral that I have going on. Um, so do what you want. But I'm just going to put these gray pillows there. And one there and you can leave it like that and it's so pretty and you have a fluffy bed but I like to go one more step and either add a smaller rectangle pillow there or a lumbar pillow and this one is from TJ Maxx a long time ago and then I have my duvet at the end that I just kind of fluff up so it's fluffy and you're good to go so I'm gonna just pan around and show you the bed um, up close Okay, if you can see, this has texture. This is a just a duvet, so it, it does have an insert in there, which is pretty fluffy. And then you can just see my pillows um, fluffed up there. I need to fix this over here, but anyway, I'll show you what I mean by all the different textures. So you can see you have pattern, pattern pattern and texture and pattern and then this is pretty basic it's really pretty and then another pattern it's all the same colors which I'm still not I'm still on the fence about so I was kind of like I don't want to show you yet but I'm just gonna show you how that looks and now I'm gonna take you over to my mom's and show you her bedding at my mom's and I know I showed you this in my little vlog but um, you can see here, if you look on the side of her bed, where you see the sheet, this waffle knit blanket, and then her comforter, and then you see a coverlet. That is what I meant by I really like the way this looks um, together. And my mom has a bunch of dogs, so excuse those guys with their bells. But anyway, again, I put the Euro Shams in front. You could put them in back. Hers aren't as fluffy as mine are, but I still think that they look really cute. And then she also has a cute little throw. Her bed looks like perfectly like you would see in a magazine. Like it's fluffy. Um, on this part, this is a comforter, and I just folded it, you'll see, folded it down and then back over on itself just a little bit to give it a more fuller look so the fluffier the better 
again this is just what I like you don't have to like it um, but I think it's really pretty if that's what you're going for obviously we just sleep in these beds they don't have to look like this but um, it's fun to decorate and style beds I love bedding it's one of my favorite things to buy and um, I think it just changes everything all of her bedding is from Bed Bath & Beyond, the new Bee & Willow line. If you have not checked it out, go do yourself a favor and do. And then she also has the same sheets that I do. And it all goes together so pretty. So, there's another idea for you. Um, and I hope that helps you guys. Okay, that's all I got for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you like these kind of videos, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, I will see you guys. Have a good day.